Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is the Kosafa Cup, episode 3 and the final episode of this short international series. So, we're ready for that third place match because so many of you, well, well okay, Brother Digi only, uh, asked me to play on, so I'm playing on. And, um,. Here we go. It's the third place match. We're playing Zambia, our big rivals. They are better than us, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot out of us today. We've got a couple of players in who weren't in the last time. Um, Mukamba, Denver Mukamba starts on the left wing, and uh, do, 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 do. who was it? Chapita. Or Chipata? What's his name? Chipeta, Eric Chipeta. That's who's in the uh, center back slot in place of uh, one of these two guys. This guy, I think. Yes, he's 38 years old anyway, so we don't mind replacing him. Even if we go down a little bit in quality, it's not such a terrible thing because at least we gain eight years in in uh, fitness. <laughs> Welcome to Zimbabwe. Okay, so let's get on with this. We're gonna roll straight into the game. And they're all gonna complain they don't get the tactical familiarity. Which, hey, big surprise, of course they don't. I don't get to train you. So, yeah. Um... Expect to see a much better performance from you tonight. I think that seems fair. Alright, got a few of them. How about half? Um, Denver Macombe's versatility is just awesome. Can't believe what a Swiss Army knife that guy is. So nothing. We're out shooting them in that we've got a much better XG. And this looks like it might be something that's positive for us. We'll find out. Then Rumakamba tracks the ball down in the corner. Can't get it through, but does recover it. Oh, and it's scored. Marvelous Nakamba. There's another one for you, Liam. Up the villa. Marvelous Nakamba gets another goal. What do you mean it's his first for Zimbabwe? That's not true. We saw him score in the last game. I wonder if it was called back in the last game. Because they're saying that's his first goal for Zimbabwe. That's weird. I could have sworn he scored in that last game. Well, either way, he definitely scored in this one. So, we are up 1 0 over Zambia. In what they're calling a Trans Zambezi rivalry, which I believe is the river that separates the two. Oh no, keeper, what were you doing? Rogers Cola has scored from well outside the box. Not much to be done about it, but there you go. That's frustrating. Looked like he didn't see it until really late, but it wasn't that hidden from him. We don't need to see it a third time. Thank you.
Come on now, come on now, track the ball down. Let's that's what I wanna see. Good passing. Up to Makamba. Makamba back inside, can't find his man. It's recovered. And passed oh into the box, but no. Oh smashed off the bar. And then put away by Caduere. We're up to one over Zambia. And we've got three times the XG, so we're doing okay here. We're doing okay. Oh, he's clearly onside. You're not going to show us the offside as well, are you? You are. Very silly thing. A very silly thing, anyone could see that was onside. I'm happy with your performance so far, keep it up. Or don't get complacent out there, that's where I'm more inclined to go. So, how about pointing a finger? That's what getting not complacent, but that's what I like to see. See all that motivation. All that motivation, good stuff. Cleared long, but brought down well by Zimbabwe. Now out left from Mukamba. I'm having a hard time reading the names in case you can't tell, but I think that might be offside. Yes, Mukamba was offside. Apparently. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, good play. Nice ball through, and that's an easy goal for him. Kaduere gets his second of the game. We're up three to one. And maybe we just want this third place more than they do. Because they do not look the better team today. It was a gorgeous chip by the key, by the uh, forward there, around and over the keeper. No real chance. Clearance. Now let's follow up on it. Follow up. Push him back. Oh, no, push him back. Come on now. Push him back. Push him back. That's it. Backwards, backwards. Push him back, backwards. Oh dear. Thankfully, it did not turn into a comedy goal, at least not yet. But, you know, the night is young. Oh, it's up and over. That's good to see. And... Cola again, his second. I think I had some Rogers Cola ones. No, that was Royal Crown Cola. There's something with an R. Terrible throw directly to their player. Why are you doing that? OK, 
Okay, finally the third to our player. Amazing advances in throwing technology here. Now we'll throw it to them again. No, oh, we actually got it over him. Yeah, and that's going to do it. But we've got the win, which means we get the third place medal. Woohoo! Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. I will say, with the outstretched arms. Well done, well done. What sort of impact do you think getting a goal just for halftime had? It's a great time to score. Uh, we were all surprised to see Marlo Sakamba pop up with a goal. So you must have been too. Uh, he has been working hard. That's it. Good stuff. Hooray, we win the third place. Let's see, proud of unlikely win. And that's going to do it. Um, shall we play forward for the for the um, final? I guess we may as well find out who wins, right? Seems like a good idea. I'll be right back with that. Okay, we're back and we're going to watch the goals. From the Kosafa Cup final, which was an interesting one. Um, here is Angola getting an early lead. South Africa racing away right after the halftime. And oh, smoking one into the back of the net. I haven't seen these yet myself, so. Oh, a nice header. South Africa's up 2-1. Here comes Angola. Oh, well done. The late man coming. The forgotten arm, as they call it. Oh. There's Angola again. Looks like they're leading now. 3-2. I believe. And that makes 4 2. Oh, sloppy play 4 3. But extra time. That must have been an extra time the last couple of goals. They were. In the 95th, 98th, and 105th minutes. Well, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, it was an interesting game. And Angola goes on to win it after beating us 5-2. They go on to beat South Africa and win 4-3, which is not how this usually goes. Dodgy Gamer assured me that South Africa wins. It's one of those tournaments where, you know, so many teams enter and South Africa wins. Like the World Cup, where so many teams enter and Germany wins. You know, one of those kinds of tournaments. Anyway, it hasn't worked out that way. So, I think that's rather cool. At least we lost to the eventual winners. What can I say? I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. That's going to bring this series to a close. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. There will be more international management to come later on in this um in this season, in this year I should say, but uh, it'll be a little while yet as we've got, you know, two series ongoing at the moment and I don't want to make a third series a general thing, so that, that'll that be a while before anything comes up as, as a second series or as, as another series. So anyway, that's enough. I will talk to you later. I hope you have a great day and take care.